Okay, uh, greetings from uh, Bethany Society. I'm uh, Kamlan Arona and I have been uh, the executive director of the society since 1995. Um, Bethany Society is uh, the, the focus of its uh, interventions uh, right from 1981 has been to reach out to uh, vulnerable populations uh, in rural areas, um, specifically in Meghalaya, but we also believe that one of the ways in which we can multiply our mission is to work as a catalyst to uh, network with similar organizations so that we can learn with, from each other. Um, we also believe in the, that the African proverb uh, which says that alone I can uh, move faster but together uh, we can move much further. So as far as possible we try to, when we get into a program and if it's a sector program for example, like uh, disability or education or livelihoods. And once we are quite sure that, uh, that we have uh, proof of concept, then we generally try to get into partnerships so that we don't waste time in multiplying the mission. Because for us, uh, empowerment of the vulnerable is of prime importance and it's also uh, that we need to work on this on a very urgent basis and partnerships are very very important for that. So for the last 20-25 years whether it's in education, whether it's on empowerment persons with disability, whether it's with livelihoods, um, we have uh, quite successfully worked um, through partnerships either with government or through partner NGOs or and we are all working at the same level and so we've been able to to do 10 times the amount that we could have done and this is purely because of partnerships it's nothing really to do with our capacity it's it's basically ensuring that partnerships work well and we are able to sort out any teething issues together that we are always open to change so that is that is our partnership and then um, uh, our mode and uh, very soon um, because of, uh, we are now getting into the Asian Development Bank Human Capacity Development in the areas of, of, of uh, integrated farming, natural farming to support local individuals and communities to improve their quality of life uh, through good quality training and enterprises. Um, Mr. Amir Sultan, the consultant for ADB, is the one who actually introduced this, introduced us to the program. And um, um, luckily, what happened was that he also was very, very strong on partnerships, and we were the same. So immediately, we set a car, we kind of, you know, struck a chord and. Uh, worked together and he really supported us in developing a partnership with about eight NGOs uh, across the state of Meghalaya and together I think we would be able to reach out to nearly 5,000 um, vulnerable youth and women uh, across the state um, in developing skills in integrated farming and natural farming. So, um, so that is our, um, as far as networks and partnerships are concerned. And of course, it is through Amir that we also uh, were introduced to Subud as an international organization that works for the empowerment of, of people across the world. And um, as an organization, we would be quite open to look at partnerships which are which are uh, mutually beneficial to us and they help to multiply our mission so whether it's nationally or regionally or internationally 
we would be open to uh, to partnership with Subodh. Um, I also wish Amir uh, the very best for his um, for the Congress that is being held in in Germany, where hopefully he will introduce Bethany Society to Subodh and look at potential, probable, possible partnerships of mutually beneficial nature.